Hello guys, how's it going? My name is Dalaran and in today's video we'll talk more about Shadowlands. Primarily about the biggest issue that a lot of people have with Shadowlands and the potential for the unrest for the future expansion. Shadowlands shocked a lot of people with the fact that with the recent expansion of Battle for Azeroth we've had no new race but a lot of allied races so in a sense it replaces the race need but it doesn't have a class. So the next expansion, Shadowlands, must have a new class and they revealed Shadowlands and no, there was no new class with the expansion. Without anything new in terms of the gameplay that they'll add through a brand new class, just how good could Shadowlands be on its own? Blizzard have recently commented in an interview with Method, and here I want to talk about what their answer was and some of the ideas behind it, and simply just talk about the topic. So Shadowlands deals in the world of World of Warcraft Afterlife. Like this is where when we go into the realm of the death, when the characters die, when they pass away, this is where they end up. And the afterlife can be depicted in multiple different ways, which I think is awesome. So there's definitely a lot of work and a lot of love put into the art asset and the themes behind all the different zones we'll be able to discover. So I'm super excited about that. So Shadowlands on its own without any class combination for me has been enough. I feel like there's enough in there, but let's break it down. Blizzard recently got asked directly by Method in an interview why there's no new class with Shadowlands. Their statement was, they took a look at Shadowlands and they felt like there wasn't really any class to come from here. Classes are generally derived from the environment of the expansion, the theme and the story that you want to tell. From Pandaria we had monks, obviously. Then from Legion we had demon hunters, which made sense. But with BFA we didn't have a new class because we were going for more faction combat. There was nothing really new to come from the new zone. With Shadowlands, however, there is no new class. Of course... What class would be derived from Shadowlands? What class would we be able to unlock from this land of the afterlife? Well, how about a Necromancer? Wouldn't that be amazing? I feel that a Necromancer, guess it would fit. It is an expansion about the afterlife, but also the dead. And with Lich King breaking the veil, you might have all these undead rising out of nowhere. So maybe you would need some of these powerful mages, powerful warlocks to convert themselves into the necromancy. Almost like another hero class that comes from mages or casters of some sort that learns how to harness the power. Something in between of a death knight and a warlock. Some of the other ideas I've heard is maybe what about a Dark Ranger or a Shadow Hunter after Vol'jin or Sylvanas in terms of the archetype, since you know Sylvanas is still the prominent figure, so of course we would have Dark Rangers. But if we had Dark Rangers, we'd probably have them joining Sylvanas, honestly, than the Horde or the Alliance, because they would think that her followers that are modeling her would probably follow her. But some of the other ideas I've heard are what about a Dragon Mancer? What about a Dragon Priest? What about a Necro Lord? And it's just like, wow, these are some really I mean, they're the really like, powerful names for a class, but I don't know if they would fit in the World of Warcraft universe. To me, honestly, I still think a Tinkerer class would still fit better than even any of those other suggestions. There's a couple issues with some of the classes that people have brought up. And this is just my personal opinion. You guys don't have to agree with me. But thematically for Shadowlands, it feels like we are exploring the world of the afterlife. We are going to these beings that are stuck in the afterlife. Maybe they can teach us certain new things, like the vent there with the blood sacrifices, or the Kyrian, or the Necrolords of Meldraxxus. Those guys can probably teach us how to raise undead and control them, maybe. But that seems like it's something that would be towards the end of the expansion, not at the very beginning. The second, these guys are stuck in the world of afterlife. I don't think you would be able to take a lot of what they can give you back into the world of the living. For example, they give you certain abilities that can be used in Shadowlands. And you won't really be able to use them anywhere else. Once you exit Shadowlands, you lose access to these abilities. But once you are in Shadowlands, you get to use these new Kyrian abilities or Venthyr abilities or Fey, whichever uh, covenant you end up going with. You have something special, but it gets stuck in Shadowlands. So if they were to teach you a new class, I would think uh, thematically it would stay only in the Shadowlands. Kind of like how I couldn't see those guys become allied rays because they're really spirits of the afterlife. They live in the afterlife i don't think they're supposed to belong in the normal world we are the only ones that are special enough to be able to go there and back to be able to enter back and forth and that's mostly thanks to sylvanas breaking the veil and us probably using bolvar as the current lich king to enter the veil for me most important though than the lore which lore does matter to some extent i do like it when things kind of make sense in world of warcraft within the concepts of the game that's my favorite i like the idea how they stick to it but 
What's more important for me is the gameplay. What would a class be like? What specs would it have? What is the playstyle that it might have? And there's so many ideas floating around online on different forums of people coming up with their own version of how a class might function. And I'll be honest, so far I haven't really heard one that grips me. The one that's like, oh, I really could see that become a real deal. There's a lot of ideas on what a necromancer might be like. Should they have a normal necromancer spec? Maybe they should be like a blood mage of some sort. Maybe they should be able to tank as a caster. Maybe they should be a melee as a caster. And then of course other ideas for Dark Ranger and the three different, two different specs they might have. There's so many different ideas of what people have, but so far not a single one has been the one that was like, yes, I feel like this has enough detail and enough ideas in it and enough cool concepts and designs that I could see it actually be applied in the world of warcraft universe amongst the classes and specs that we have right now and it feels like in bfa and even legion blizzard started pushing more towards spec identity and trying to make specs really really unique and now specs are so different than an affliction war like destruction and a demonology all bring different utility and different playstyle and different goals out of a spec so they're just so far apart they might even feel like a whole new class so Blizzard creating more diversity, I feel like it creates less room to add another spec or even class in the game, let alone class with a couple different specs. Because just about every cool idea, every fresh idea has been used. Unless you guys want to prove me wrong, in the comment below and write me up your idea of what a Necromancer or a Dark Ranger or any one of those classes that I've come up with and give me the best shot at it, you're more than welcome to. Pretty sure the comment section will find the ones I like the most. Make sure to upvote it so then everybody else can see it. If you guys do like the idea that somebody else presents. Because I think there is an opportunity for us to add a new class with a variety of different specs. It's just so far I haven't heard a good one. Instead, Blizzard wants to focus on bringing abilities back for classes, and they're not going to radically change certain specs, although I feel like some buffs and nerfs are needed and certain adjustments should be done. They are instead going to be working on changing classes by adding more to things, uh, like adding certain mechanics that a class may share, like auras for paladins, totems with buffs for shamans, poisons for rogues, curses for all three specs of warlocks as part of the main mechanic. So every time you bring a warlock, it shouldn't matter to you what spec it is. That warlock brings a powerful curse that your group may be able to use in a dungeon or a raid. Doesn't matter what spec they're playing, so you don't have to harass them about it. Hey, they just bring a curse. Hey, we can use it. Done. They get to play whatever spec they like and they still bring something useful to the team. I think that could honestly bridge a little bit over the gap between some specs and some of the diversity and some of the issues that they may have in terms of how much damage one spec does over the other. So the spec might be still a player preference, but what the class brings would be enough for the group to use. And I'm perfectly okay with Blizzard taking a whole expansion focusing on classes because as they are right now, there's definitely certain things that could be fixed. And the idea of what we could bring back to some of these classes, I think is just... To bring classes back to the glory, bring fun abilities back, bring unique mechanics back to the game, bring some thing, form of complexity back to classes, I think that potential alone, to me, would be much bigger than bringing yet another class that's as bare bones as some of these other specs that we have in the game. I mean, do we want more classes that are just as watered down as what we've got, or do we want to add complexity to the classes we currently have? And now, that isn't the choice that we are given. It's not like Blizzard has given us a choice, but if that is what it comes down to, I personally side on the idea that, hey, we should bring back complexity to some of the loved classes that we have. Keep the specs as they are. Allow me to grapple hook around on my outorg while rolling the bones until I get that lucky five buff. But my rogue will bring poison, so whatever the situation is, I can apply poison for the different situation, whether it's a dungeon, raid, or a PvP. But anyway guys, that's been my thoughts about the class thing and the lack of a class for Shadowlands. I completely understand why somebody might want it. Getting new and fun and shiny things to play with is always fun. But where our classes are at, the prospect of them getting only better, that means you are improving on, what, 12 different classes, maybe 11 minus the Demon Hunter since they're fairly fresh, improving on 11 different classes that we currently have in the game, I'm perfectly okay with it. Plus, Blizzard is also doing a lot of the character customization for all the classes that we currently have, so you can still play your Shaman and enjoy it, twice for the class changes but also for the character customization that you might be able to do in the future on like a troll shaman or something thank you all so much for watching though hope you guys enjoyed i want you guys to give me your thoughts what do you think about the lack of a new class do you love it do you hate it what are your thoughts let me know thank you so much for watching i'll see all of you in the next one